Hello, hello everybody. This is Mommy with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I need to put together a white arrangement in a vase. And so we're going to make just a very traditional upright vase arrangement. I'm going to start out with some leather leaf foliage. Um, if I can get my snips to cut. I am going to first green out my container. This is what we call a rose vase here at our shop. Um, it's I don't even know how the dimensions, eight inches, eight and a half inches tall. Um, and so I'm gonna take my leather and I am going to use my floral knife, remove any of the bottom foliage that might fall below that water line, take my floral knife, cut it at an angle and tuck it right into my vase. This customer asked for white lilies and all white flowers, pretty greens, and so that's what we're going to do. This will be sent as a sympathy arrangement. And it will actually be placed on a table at the funeral home. So there is my leather leaf. Next, I'm gonna come in with some myrtle. I'm gonna use the myrtle almost as a line flower. So the myrtle's gonna give me some height in this arrangement and kind of make this arrangement more showy. So I'm gonna take this piece of greenery and I'm gonna strip that foliage off the bottom, taking my floral knife, cutting that greenery at an angle and tucking that right over into the vase. Now this tip is broken, so I'm just gonna take and pinch the tip out of that greenery so you can't tell that it was broken. Now you'll find if you use a floral knife, the myrtle is a little harder to cut because it's so woody. And so you might want to use, instead of your floral knife, you might decide to use your, um, your snips, which will make it so much easier. Okay, so there is my myrtle in place. Next I'm gonna come in, I have this pretty piece of eucalyptus and I just wanted to use it. So I'm gonna take and remove any of the foliage down at the bottom. Now let me say that eucalyptus, um, some people are allergic to the eucalyptus oil. So if you are, if eucalyptus bothers you, um, you can always take gloves and wear gloves when you're designing with eucalyptus um, and that way it won't break your hands out. Psst. Get down, get down. Me in here, shoe and the cat. Will you grab that quick dip? And he doesn't have to necessarily get down. I just didn't oh. want him drinking the quick dip. Oh. Sorry about that. The kitty cat was over here sticking his head in the quick dip, and I thought, oh, he sure doesn't need to drink the quick dip. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Okay, so there's some pretty eucalyptus. Next, what I'm going to do is come in with some flowers. So, for my line flower today, I chose white stock and I'm going to take this and use this as my height in this arrangement. So I'm going to take it and tuck one up high and then I'm going to just stagger the height of this stock in this arrangement. I'm going to put one back here in the back. Okay, there is our lime flower. Next, I'm going to come in with some white moms. So I have some large white spider moms. Um, and spider moms, and really, this is not really. It doesn't look the same as some of the spider mums. Spider mums just have longer, more linear petals. Um, this one has lots. It's got a very large petal count, which makes me happy. It's a pretty mum. So I'm going to take and I am going to tuck these mums in. Now what they're really doing for me is filling in some of this space before I put the lilies in. The lilies are really the most important flower in this arrangement because that's what the customer wanted was lilies but I needed some more flowers to give us some fullness so 
that's the reason I chose to do some stock and some mums. Um, I'm going to take that third one and I just put it back here on the back so that it's pretty on the back side too. Next, we're going to come in with our with our lilies. So I have pretty white oriental lilies. Now there are two different varieties of lilies that we use here at our shop. We use Asiatic lilies and oriental lilies. Oriental lilies are the larger lily. They're really my favorites um, and they smell very pretty. So this is a pretty tight bud. I've got some, they're open in all different degrees um, of openness. So I'm gonna put this one kind of up top in this arrangement um, because it's got the linear buds up here at the top and, and I just thought it would be pretty in the top. So I'm gonna take that, cut it at an angle with my knife and tuck him right into that arrangement. So he's up there at the top. I'm gonna turn it around and look at it for a second. All right, this guy is going to be tucked right over here. Now this is our large, most open lily. So I'm gonna tuck him down here in the front. So I'm gonna cut him pretty short and I am just taking my knife and cutting that stem at an angle. And I am going to tuck him down deep into the front of that arrangement. So he is your focal flower. See how, how he's right there in the front? I mean, he says, hello, I am right here. I'm gonna take this one, and I think I'm gonna put him up here in the top to kind of give him that, that space there. So you can see how I'm kind of holding back the arrangement, figuring out where exactly I want that flower to go, cutting it to the length that I think it needs to be, and then tucking him right down in. Now remember, this arrangement really is supposed to be about the lilies. So that's the reason the lilies are really standing out. So this lily here, I think we're going to tuck him here to have him kind of over here to the side, sticking out pretty. So I'm gonna take my knife, cut it at an angle, and tuck him right down into the side here. There we go. So you can see how I have different, different degrees of openness on our lilies. The wonderful part about that is they're going to slowly open over time. So we will have some that are already completely open so that you have a beautiful display. This one's going to open up probably overnight because the room will be very warm. And then this one's tighter, so it'll open up the next day. And so it gives you more time to enjoy the arrangement to its fullest. And I love that about a lily because it's just so pretty and so they smell lovely and they're, they're just showy. They're just downright showy. So next what we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of baby's breath to this arrangement. Our client liked the look of baby's breath and asked that we add it into the arrangement. So we are going to use a little bit of baby's breath, just a touch, not a whole lot. I'm going to take my knife. And so baby's breath comes, comes in a stem about like this, okay? And it's heavy. See how their heads are heavy and and it'll, it'll break pretty easily. So I like to take it and cut it into smaller pieces like this. And I am just going to fill in And I'm not gonna put too much, but just a tiny bit, just to give us a little fullness. I'm gonna put some back here in the back. Now, baby's breath is not for everybody, quite honestly. Baby's breath is not my favorite um, filler flower. But lots of people do like it, and so when you have it on hand and they ask for it, you absolutely use it, right? So I'm going to tuck a little here and a little there. 
And you can see where I kind of tucked it in the back there. All right, so I have my baby's breath in place. Next, I'm going to come in with just a touch of eucalyptus because I have some pretty, um, I think it's gun I use. And that's going to be our little finishing touch for this arrangement. So, um, gun eye yuke, I don't even know how to tell you. It's just smaller little um, leaves on gun eye. And this is one stem, so you get a whole lot. Um, I'm going to take my snips. I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces, and I'm just going to finish off this arrangement with the gun eye. So I'm taking it and pulling back my, my flowers and my greenery, and I'm just coming around the base of this arrangement. To me, a finishing touch of greenery really just gives that, that final finished look. It just, it just finishes it off. There we have it. There is our finished arrangement to be delivered for a sympathy piece. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. If you have any questions, be sure to drop those down below in the comments. And be sure to follow us on all of our social media. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, and of course we're here on YouTube. Guys, have a great day and we'll see you real soon.